As a result of bush encroachment, Namibia has an enormous biomass resource at its disposal that is estimated at 200 million tons. The regrowth of encroacher bush would suffice to cover Namibia's annual electricity needs, still leaving plenty of biomass to be used by industry. In industrial boilers, fossil fuels such as coal or oil can be substituted by wood chips from encroacher bush. A brewery is quite an uh, energy-intensive uh, plant. Um, we need electricity for all the machines. We need steam and hot water for the brewing process. And, of course, also for cleaning purposes with, uh, in our bottling plants. Our plans are, and we have started already, to replace the heavy fuel oil boilers and the oil with wood chips from invader bushes and have already ordered a special wood boiler to burn wood instead of oil. There is a range of industries in Namibia that use heat in their production processes, such as abattoirs, breweries, fish factories and mines. A Horongo cement is among the first major plants that use wood chips on a large scale to co-fire its industrial combustion chambers. The cement production process is a very energy intensive process and that's where wood chips comes in as an alternative source of fuel. It's locally available, that is the benefit compared to fossil fuels which are not available in Namibia. Industries will need a competitive, reliable and standardized supply of large volumes of biomass fuel. The harvesting of encroacher bush will have to be upscaled drastically to guarantee the supply. Currently, only individual Namibian biomass producers are harvesting and processing encroacher bush. Not many farmers have the means to harvest bush on a large scale, and the harsh Namibian conditions require specialized engineering solutions. Cooperation between future biomass harvesters and processors is necessary to ensure rapid upscaling operations. We are seeing um Westec woodcracker shear, which is mounted on an excavator, which we use for cutting the invader bush. With it, we can cut and collect at the same time and then put it down in windrows for it to dry. After it is dried, we come with a different machine, pick it up, put it in a big chipper and make wood chips, which we then sell to any third party that's interested. It would be ideal to build biomass power stations. We have a big resource here, a shortage in electricity, so it just makes sense to combine the two. The technology is there, we just need to get it here. The biomass power plant works pretty much than any other thermal power station. Like we know from coal-fired power station, the difference is just the fuel. You get the fuel, put it on a belt, and then the wood is burned inside the boiler, heats up that water, which then drives a steam turbine, which eventually drives a generator producing the electricity. Turning biomass into power will benefit Namibia. The vast demand of the energy sector could spark large-scale bush harvesting projects. This will benefit the agricultural sector substantially. Bush to electricity is ideal for a decentralized power supply. Biomass power plants with a capacity of 5 megawatts can source biomass from a radius of less than 20 kilometers in most bush encroached areas. A plant of 20 megawatts in a radius of about 50 kilometers such a decentralized approach literally brings power to the people. It allows for alternative ownership and governance models and provides the opportunity to empower communities, as well as energize local democracy and self-governance. The Electricity Control Board of Namibia defines feed-in tariffs. These determine the price at which electricity from renewable sources can be fed into the national power grid. Thus, Feed-in tariffs are a strong mechanism to empower renewable energy sources. Many areas in Namibia are not connected to the electricity grid. In these rural areas, fully self-sufficient power systems can be established, so-called mini-grids. These grids can be based on hybrid solar biomass power generation. At the moment, 
Namibia is supplied by hydro, but also coal, um, gas and uh, heavy fuel oil. And most of that has to be imported um, from neighboring, neighboring countries, South Africa, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Mozambique. And uh, the more we use renewable energy, like solar, wind, biogas, or wood to energy, the more benefit for the country and its people. It is a source that we can use to generate our own electricity involving the poor, stricken people of our country. Instead of spending close to $3 billion annually to buy electricity from outside, there are a lot of accommodations, but the one which is outstanding was the one on a new law which specifically will address the question of renewable energy compelling the utility company to pay and compensate producers of electricity. The potential that we have, that must be understood by policymakers. It will become easier and people will rush to change those laws which are not helping us. Um, um, um.